Now, all of you have probably been with somebody dying in a hospital and they see unseen people around the bed. Have you ever had that happen? Usually it's deceased relatives. They see them standing around the bed. This is very real. The doctors and the nurses try to say, well, it's just the drugs or the oxygen deprivation because they're, they're dying. Now, it's very real. And I've had other nurses say it happens a lot, that they will see people there. And you notice they're always very happy. So-and-so is here, you know, and they know they're going to go with them, husband, relative, or whatever it is. So if they aren't there, the guide or guardian angel will be there. But you'll always have somebody to take you where you're supposed to go. So then they're taken to the other side. Now, usually when I'm talking to an audience, I say, how many of you have ever had near-death experiences? There's always people in the audience that say they have had near-death experiences. I don't care what the doctors say. It's very, very real that I've had enough proof of it in my work. I know it's very real. But in most of the near-death experiences, the person either going through a tunnel or they're going out of their body, they are going toward a huge light. And they never reach that light. They usually are turned back before they get to that light. Usually there's somebody there who says, are you sure you want to go? You know, you have a choice, but maybe it'd be better if you go back. You know, your family needs you things like that but sometimes there's someone there to give you a choice if you want to return or do you really want to go on it's your decision but whenever they decide to go back they never go all the way to that bright light I found out what that bright light is this is why they don't actually die because they don't go all the way the bright light is a huge energy source you may even want to call it God if you want to but it's a powerful energy source and when you actually do leave your body and die, you go through that light. And when you go through that light, the silver cord is severed at that time. You're all attached with a silver cord, our spirit, which is a real you, and the body the entire time you're alive. Because every night you go out of your body. Everybody does. The spirit, the real you, imagine how bored it would get sitting around waiting for the body to wake up. <laughs> the body's what gets tired. The real you doesn't. And so it's sitting around waiting for you to get up. Okay, let's get on with it. As soon as the body goes to sleep, you're out of there having all kinds of adventures. You're going to the spirit side. You're talking to your guides and your masters and getting instructions. Or you're off anywhere you want to go in the world, seeing people, looking in on them, whatever you want to do. Or you can go off to other planets, other dimensions. You do this every night. But you don't know it because, uh, well, you're not supposed to know it for one thing. It'd be too confusing. But the only way you remember is if you have dreams of flying or dreams of strange, unfamiliar places. So we're all having all these adventures all every night. And in toward morning, when it's time to get back to the body, we are connected with the silver cord the whole time.